Welcome, in front of me I have Garmin Phoenix 8 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the Android phone. Before we start, you can pair this watch with a phone in two ways. The first way is to do it through the setup process, if the watch is brand new or has been reset to the factory default settings. And the second way is to do it through the settings if the watch has been already set up, because you can do it. First I'm gonna show you how to do it through the setup process and then I'm gonna show you how to do it through the uh, settings. Okay, uh, so the first thing we need to do is to turn on our watch and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the light button. And once you see the logo on the screen you can release the button and wait until the watch is done booting up. Okay, and after the watch is done booting up and it's brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings, you will see the list of languages on the screen. And you can scroll through this list by swiping on the screen. Now find the language you would like to use and tap on it. And as you can see, now we, we have the question, but basically we're being asked if we want to pair our watch with a phone. We want to do that. So let's press the start button to confirm. And you will see the QR code on the screen, which means you need to download and install the a Garmin Connect application on the phone you want to pair your watch with. And you can use the QR code to download the app. Basically, you can scan it with your phone by uh, pointing the phone's camera on the QR code uh, and it will redirect you to the download page. But I'm just gonna open the Google Play Store and download it uh, from there. And to download the application, you will need to have an internet connection and Bluetooth enabled if you want to pair the devices together. Once you do and download the app, so I'm gonna open the Play Store tap on search, tap on search bar, type in a Garmin Connect. And on the list, there should be this app Garmin Connect by Garmin. Select it, then tap on install and wait until the application is done installing. And once the application is done installing, you can tap on the open button to open it. In the app, you will need to log in into a Garmin account. If you don't have an account, you can tap on create account right here to make a new one and then you can log in. I already have an account, so I'm gonna tap on sign in to basically log in into an account. Check the box right here, next. And we need to enter the email and password, so give me a couple seconds. Okay, and now we can tap on next to continue. If you see this pop up about the uh, permissions, you need to tap on allow access, allow. And the app will start searching for the nearby devices and it should detect your watch automatically. If it doesn't, you can always press the back button and then press the start button again to re-enter the pairing mode. And it should detect your watch. Once it does, tap on connected, tap on allow. Tap on pair. Next. Here we can set up a sleeping schedule. This is useful if you want to wear your watch during a sleep and you don't want it to be disturbed. Basically, it will be turning on um, sleep focus or basically do not disturb mode during sleep, which mutes all of the notifications, turns off uh, the screen wake, screen wake up and stuff like that. And you can set it up by tapping on edit button right here and you can select the days and then set the wake time and the uh, bedtime by tapping on them and then swiping on the screen. Um, another thing to mention here is that, as you can see, I have two schedules. So if I basically tap on edit here and uncheck the uh, first day, tap on save, I will be able to 
a tap on here and tap on uh, on not this one this one and se select the first day here and tap on save basically you can't have uh, multiple schedules schedules for the same same day so uh, if you want to have uh, different schedules for different days you will need to um, set it up separately and you will have a couple of them basically okay and then tap on next now we can select the preferred wrist and here we have the permission for the notifications this is useful if you want to receive the notifications from your uh, phone on your watch if you don't care you can tap on skip and keep it disabled but if you want to uh, allow the permission tap on allow tap on allow next we have the location permission this is useful for um, local weather uh, tracking your routes on the map so let's say you go for a run and the app will track uh, your route mm. and couple different things i'm not sure what else could be there may be something like um, sos feature and stuff like that and if you want to use those features and you want to use them to full uh, extend you will need to allow the per permission for the location if you don't care you can tap on skip and keep it disabled i'm gonna allow it and as you can see it directed us to different page what we need to do is to tap on permissions find the location permission and select uh, allow all the time or allow only while using the app i'm gonna select the second one the app will bother you to allow it for all the time uh, but i prefer to be bothered than allow it for all the time I'm old-fashioned that way okay um, let's go back to the app like this next we have the uh, calendar access and here we can allow it and what it does is basically it will uh, you'll be able to see the calendar events and um, start stuff like that like basically events notes I don't know what you can also add to your calendar but basically you will be able to see the stuff from your calendar on your watch so if you want to use features like that allow the permission if you don't care you can tap on skip and keep it disabled here we have call log access this is useful for the um, notifications about calls and stuff like that so if you want to get the notifications about calls on your watch you will need to allow a couple of permissions actually um, and if you don't want to you can tap on skip if you want to tap on allow and allow then we have phone call access allow it or deny it then we have the sms this is for the messages so if you want to see the notifications from messages on your watch you will need to allow this permission and of course you can skip them if you want to um, okay and once you're done with the permissions you will see this page you can tap on sync now finish here you will see the tutorial uh, about the watch you can tap on next to go through it i'm just gonna tap on skip finish and right here we can uh, basically connect our watch to the wi-fi network and this is useful for different reasons but mostly updating your watch downloading uh, stuff like music apps and stuff like that if you don't want to connect your watch to the network you can tap set up wi-fi later if you want to connect it tap on add network it will start searching for the nearby networks on the list of networks find the one you want to connect to tap on it tap right here enter the password and then tap on next and if you uh, enter the password correctly it should basically connect oh i must have entered it wrong so give me a second Okay, let's try now i tried different network basically maybe this one will work and this one connected okay you can tap next finish and now you should see the um, home page of the app and on your watch you can basically adjust the uh, font size to your liking and then you can press the uh, start button and here we can also select the favorite activities this is useful if you want to have uh, basically quick access to some activities like running and stuff like that if you want to do it tap or rather press the 
uh, start button if you don't care you can tap on the uh, right here button I believe it's a down button to skip this I'm gonna show you how it works so you can press here select the category for example outdoor hike and once you select it it's gonna get check mark next to it which means it's gonna be added to uh, favorites and then you can scroll down and once you're done tap on done and that's it and now you should see the watch face of your watch which means that the watch face is ready uh, to use okay so that's how you pair the watch during the setup process now i'm gonna unpair it and we're gonna quickly pair it uh, through the uh, settings so we can go to here uh, unpair it go to bluetooth and remove it from uh, here okay so to pair the watch uh, with your phone during the or rather in the setting through the settings you will need to enter the pairing mode on your watch and to do it we need to press and hold the middle button to open the menu then we need to scroll through the menu uh, find the settings icon and tap on it to enter the settings here we need to find the connectivity did I miss it oh yeah I missed it connectivity tap on it then select phone and then scroll down and tap on pair phone it will enter the pairing mode now you can download and install the app I already have it installed but if you need to install the app and then open it and if you open the app for the first time you will need to log in of course uh, and after that you will need to allow some permissions but I already have the app so I'm gonna tap on more uh, Garmin devices and tap on add device it's gonna start searching for the nearby devices it should detect our watch we can tap on connected tap on allow and then go through the same steps as we did before so pair And next, a sleeping schedule, preferred wrist, location permission. I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna skip this this time. And then uh, I don't need to deal with the rest of permissions because they're saved. So we can tap on sync now. Finish. Um, tutorial. We can tap on skip finish and you can connect it to the Wi-Fi network which I'm gonna do later then finish and you should see your watch right here and also if you tap on more and Garmin devices you should see it right here on the list and that's how you pair this watch with the Android phone thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video